started uh, in the 1990s. Drug trafficking organizations had resorted to uh, what we now call go fast vessels. Vessels that were that exceeded the speeds of any kind of uh, response vessels that we had in our inventory. He's turning towards us! He's... This is not stopping! Stop your vessel! Stop! We had to step up our game and find another way to, uh, to interdict and stop this, this drug trafficking. The Commandant at the time, Admiral Lloyd, challenge the, the, the leadership in the Coast Guard to develop a means to stop them using aircrafts. Hitron was basically formed as a proof of concept. The uh, concept was to figure out how we can use helicopters and how we can use weapons from helicopters to interdict go fast vessels. My name is Captain Mike Campbell. I am uh, the commanding officer of Hitron Jacksonville. I've been assigned here since June of 2017. I still have to pinch myself every day uh, because uh, I believe that I am at, in the best job uh, at the best aviation unit in the Coast Guard and I'm excited to be here every single day. This is our 20th year as I said earlier, 1999 to 2019 and uh, during this year we just went over 20 billion dollars in drugs interdictions, hence our 20 and 20 uh, motto. Uh -huh. Well, to tell you the truth, I, I, I'm uh, just amazed, you know, just to hear those numbers that you're, you're spouting off. Uh, never did we ever have um, the inkling, you know, that uh, Hitron would be that successful. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Mark Torres, and um, I was uh, one of the uh, members of Hitron 10 and actually the uh, first commanding officer for uh, the Hitron program. Uh, at the time, uh, a lot of the aviators said, hey, we should just be doing search and rescue. We should not be uh, moving more into the law enforcement aspect of the uh, of this particular mission. And uh, so the first 10 uh, individuals that made uh, Hitron 10 were fairly were fully uh, committed in this particular program. Coast Guard Aviation uh, focuses a lot of its efforts on search and rescue and, and that is a fantastic mission and we are excellent at performing that mission. Uh, but we are also excellent at performing this counter drug mission. And the reason why it's so impactful, uh, it, it's not just about the drugs. The number of lives that we save and, and prevent harm and injury and uh, drug addiction and uh, murder and violence in Central America and in the United States uh, is, is, is enormous. Yeah, uh, yeah. Charlie was the, uh, the first gunner that actually uh, disabled the engines on a uh, drug boat. The driver of the vessel actually looked up to us and I'll show you, he just kind of looked up at the aircraft and went like this. So he gave us kind of like, a, oh well, we went through the full force continuum. We gave them lights, a loud hailer, using sting grenades, still no stop and so he stepped up into using stitches across the bow by using the uh, m240 machine gun uh, i readied the 50 cal the rc 50 row bar 50 cal rifle people on the boat actually was surprised at what hit they had no idea what actually hit the engine we when this particular mission um, came came our way we were just excited and uh, really proud of all of our accomplishments so currently, uh, Hitron Jacksonville maintains a, a full deployment schedule uh, year round. We generally uh, have at least four to five uh, aviation detachments out on various cutters and international allied partnerships. The numbers of interdictions that Hitron has been, uh, has been scoring over the last few years in particular has been rising significantly. To all those uh, men and women who have been assigned to Hitron Jacksonville, I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, I believe that th this mission uh, has been the most rewarding and most exciting mission that I have ever performed, nor will I ever perform. And I know that anybody, any member of the Coast Guard who's ever been assigned to Hitron Jacksonville uh, shares that pride with me. I think for that, uh, I am extremely proud and extremely grateful and thankful to have had the opportunity to serve at this unit.